Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Why Is It Free, where we take a look at PlayStation's free games and figure out why they are free. And on episode 6, it looks like we are looking at Fallout Shelter. So this is actually a mobile game as well. I've reviewed a game on my channel before that was also a mobile game called Guns Up. But um, yeah, this is also a mobile game. So you can play it, I guess, on your PlayStation, or you could play it on your phone. Personally, a lot of the games that are on PlayStation that are also on a phone, mobile games like that, which there's quite a few, I would rather just have on my phone because then I can play the bigger games and I can have the small games while I wait. You know, something like that. But it's a free game, right? You can't really say no. Well, I guess you can, but if you really want something to play, so let's see. So, I know I can get old saves, but I have played this a bunch on my phone before. I've actually modded it on my phone. Uh, so, it looks like I gotta pick my vault ID. Should I put it in survival mode? Oh, maybe. Alright, what pulse should we do? You know what? Let's do, um... Unknown 365, so let's do that. Congratulations, Voltaic has selected you to be the Overseer of Vaults 365. The vault keeps people safe from the dangers of the wasteland. If you're a big fan of the Fallout series, you also might like these games. Each room is special, has a special attribute. It uses assigned dwellers with the special to make them happy and produce extra resources. Voltech will give you a daily rating based on your performance. Remember to keep your dwellers happy and do a great job. Please stand by. And then you get a little loading screen where you get tips down at the bottom there. Well, it looks like we're in quick. Welcome to the new vault overseer. Let's introduce you to the basic concepts. Alright, so we have the build menu. Let's build a power generator. What do we want it? Uh, let's put it... Should we put it right under this? Or should we put it down low? No, let's put it little lower. Okay, so we need dwellers. Right. Okay, this moves quick. Okay. He's got five strength. Okay. Remember to move to the wasteland and then hold X to grab them. Okay, what do you got? Two strength, whatever. I'll well, send you here. All right. Okay. So it's kind of just like a, you know, make everything game. You just kind of build your stuff. Try to have a massive vault, which I'm assuming is yeah, it's quite a massive area. You can build a pretty crazy vault. It looks like. Wow, that's actually nuts. All right. And you can zoom right in too. Take a close look at it. Let's take, let's rush it. Alright, back to the Alright, oh, success. First rush and collect caps. Which now allows me to build another room, which is food. I should have food right, so right when you enter, you want food. Seriously, come on. And we need water, because, you know, you got to take care of the people with water. Let's make it right across the generator room. Look, more dwellers have shown up at the door. Okay. Let's see who we got, who we got, who we got, who we got. Can I like view their stats somehow? It probably said that I wasn't listening to be honest. Can I can I view your stats? You know, I don't probably can, but I wasn't paying attention. So you have agility. Which I think that's agility, but so you're good for the kitchen, I guess. Select a room. After selecting a room, press X to use the left stick to cycle through dwellers in that room. Use the right stick to move the camera in and out. Okay. We'll try to make everyone happy here. Well, if I put you in here, I get plus three. That looks good. Okay, what, what, about, what about you? What, what are you? Where do you want to be in life? You want to be right here? Okay. So we got a water person. 
So, then I just kicked her out of the room because she was pretty talentless. That's fine. Yeah, she's a little talentless. There's nothing, nothing, nothing good about her. You suck, Janet. All right. Well, Janet doesn't know what she's doing. Help! I'm stuck on Jukka. There we go. Circle. Uh, look at that. I collect some food caps. Sweet. Collect 50 water. That looks fun. Uh, I want a lunchbox. Okay. Here's the purchases. Here's your stuff to buy. Come on. We knew it was there. Every game has it. Honestly, not much though. What about what's a collection? Okay. That's what you have. That's it for in-game purchases. You can just purchase lunchbox, and they're not crazy expensive, so I don't know why you'd want to purchase them, though, for purchase something for this game. Probably can just earn it pretty easily. Draw rocks to expand your vault deeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? Actually, it's probably a good idea. Uh, oh, it's... An upgrade rooms. I save some for the upgrading, okay. Uh, upgrade. There we go. Okay. So I don't have enough to upgrade. What can I make, though? Nothing. That's nice. Gotta love when you can make nothing. Uh, okay. Uh, food? Alright, alright. Let's go and rush this place. Activate. Can't, can't be too much. There we go. You're in a lunchbox. There we go. I want a lunchbox. Can, can I go look at my lunchbox? Hello? I'm, little, I'm still a little confused on the controls, but that's fine. <laughs> Sweet. What, do I, what do I get from a lunchbox? Um, daily Oh, there's my daily- oh, okay, so you get daily rewards, which is cool. I don't know why I just used my hand in real life to show that. Okay, unlock here. That's kind of fun. Wow, that is a nice weapon. Some water, sweet. Baseball glove, I like getting some junk. Oh, we got another good thing. Nice. Weapon galore from that. I don't know why you're up here, Janet. Kind of useless. Just chill in the room. You're not cool. Male and female dwellers within the living quarters have a chance of making babies. What? How does that happen? Okay. Uh, nice powers, some energy. So this looks like a game you can just come back to here and there. Just take care of your vault. It's something laid back, not too, not too stressful. That I know of. I might get attacked. I'm pretty sure you do get attacked by stuff, actually. From what I remember. I haven't played this game in a long time. I played it on my phone, like I said, a while back. I, I'm pretty sure you get attacked by stuff. What is plus one? Ah, there we go. You can equip items and use Rataway and Stimpax from the Dweller Information Panel by selecting a Dweller. Can cook? strength? No, you're weak. Alright. So you got no strength, and you can't cook. You know, just just, just... just go make more... Well, build more... Oh, okay. Now, what if I don't have enough money to make a living quarters? Am I stuck? Okay, um... Rush? Wow, guys, that... That was horrible. Um, you <laughs> just gave him a minigun so that he could take care of that. You, you can keep that if you want, buddy. Actually, I don't know if I want. You, know, you can't keep that. You, you have not earned your place there. How how will Janet do in the wasteland? Good luck, Janet. I'm not giving you any weapons. No one really liked you, Janet, anyways. Farewell, Janet. Come on, like, who who really likes Janet, let's be fair. Oh man, if only if I didn't send Janet out of here, I might almost get close. You know what, Janet, come back. You know, we don't really like you, Janet, but like, you might help. Okay. So, 
that is that. Um, let's look. Let's look at all the map. All the thing, maps. All the rooms we can build. Okay, so you get a storage room, twelve dwellers. You get a med bay at fourteen dwellers, assuming that helps you make stim packs. Uh, science lab, which I'm assuming makes right away because I see the symbol. Overseer's office. I do remember what this does. This allows you to go on quests actually, and you can battle things. Uh, it was actually pretty sick. So you get the option to go on these quests and battle monsters and try to unlock loot and better weapons and gear and junk. Radio Studio, I believe, allows you to um, you have like an antenna where you call more dwellers to your place. The Weapons Workshop, I believe, allows you to make weapons that you can give to dwellers using blueprints that you can unlock through missions. Um, the Weight Room is something that allows you to up your strength, athletics, you up its endurance or agility, one of the two. Armory, even it's also a stat one. The classroom is definitely intelligence. The outfit workshop allows you to build outfits, obviously. Um, fitness room, another one of the stat uppers. <laughs> uh, lounge, I'm assuming that's for charisma. Then you got a theme workshop, so you can change the themes of rooms. A game room, which is another one. Um, barber shop, so you can change how your dwellers look once you get 50 dwellers in your vault. Uh, once you get up to 60 dwellers, you can unlock a nuclear reactor, which is better source of power. Then 70, you have a chance to get a garden, which is better food. And then you get a water purification place for better water. And then the final one, Nuka Cola bottle bottler. So you got food and water out of this one for max dwellers. Now that's 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 your max build. You can get all that and you can customize your thing however you want it. Customize all your dwellers, give them all the best weapons, and your goal, you know, can be complete all the quests, that type of thing, right? Oh, look at that, Janet's back. She got nothing, because she's a loser. And then you can save here. Game saved. Alright, so that is Fallout Shelter, one of the free-to-play games on the PlayStation Store. It's not bad. Again, it's a mobile game, so honestly, just download it on your phone. But if you really want a free game and this is up your alley, I guess, you know, it's... It's not a bad game to get. It's kind of like uh, the last game on the series. There, there really isn't any downfalls to getting it. It takes up no space. You don't really have like the reason why it's there really is no reason why it's free other than the fact that it's a mobile game. But like other than that, there's really no reason why it's free. It, it, so there's not, it's not all about in-game purchases. You can play the game and have fun without having to buy anything ever, and it's kind of fun and it's Fallout related. So if you like Fallout, that that's a big plus. But uh, yeah, it's this free game. Why is it free? There really is no reason. It's just it's it's free. Other than you know, it's a mobile game. That's it. It's free because it's a mobile game. But free to play takes up no space. You want a free game and you're looking for something. Not bad. Follow Shelter. So why not? And you can have multiple vaults. It looks like. And there's also a survival mode, which I'm assuming is extra hard because you know there's survival and Fallout, and it's really hard. So yeah, there's that. Um, yeah. Enter Vault 365, you can just enter your most recent vault that you played on, or you can go to your vault list and the settings as well. So, pretty simple, pretty fun to use, but if you're going to get it, me personally, I'd say just download the mobile game, but this also shows you what the mobile game's like, I guess. So, um, yeah, that's Fallout Shelter. Hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.